channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. If you go please hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification button right next to it so you can be notified every time I upload a new video like today. You guys know by the title and the thumbnail of this video, we are actually going to be cleaning our laundry room today. And I'm gonna be giving you guys some ideas as to how to, you know, organize your laundry room and how to even save some money with this little hack that I have. Organizing my laundry room like this, we actually have saved. I've saved quite a bit of money when it comes to like our, our Costco trips and stuff like that. As you guys know, over on Instagram, I did tell you guys, tell you guys that we go to Costco once every three months. We get our laundry soap, our dish soap, our Clorox, and that is a time frame that I know that we need like, oh, organization hack or, you know, little organizing tips. That is how I, I am able to budget what i buy at costco because when i go to costco i go through every little aisle i want this Ooh, i want that Ooh, i want this you know so every time we go we have to spend 300 dollars. but with this is we only spend what we need to spend if you want to know how i clean my laundry room and how i organize it then just please keep on watching welcome to my dirty laundry room you guys honestly i have been dreading cleaning the laundry room so much I have just been washing, drying, and putting in a putting the folding table, um, literally for like about two weeks now. But today is a day we change that. I'm just gonna take everything out of the laundry room. I'm gonna put everything back in. Um, obviously, you guys are not gonna see. Um, I have some containers coming in as well. So yeah, I'm very very excited to for you guys to see like the before and after of this laundry room because it is. It is dirty. <laughs> I put all the clothes away and clean everything up, but obviously you guys are gonna watch the sped up version. I wish it was this fast, so let's get started. I don't know if it's just because of this, you know, quarantine that I have not been feeling myself, but I am taking my house one room at a time. I'm taking back my house one room at a time. Um, my laundry room was actually a pretty big laundry room, but my husband decided to put the, the washer and the dryer right in the middle of the room because I'm that kind of person that if I see the room is big, I go out and buy things that I don't need just to fill the space up. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm like that, I just do. But I just hope that this video gives you some motivation to get out and at least clean one room a day. Not clean your whole house, clean one room a day. This is what happens to my towels after I wash them like a lot, a lot of times because I use a lot of Clorox, but I don't throw them away. What I do is I actually cut them up like this from here to here, you know, like, I cut them up and I actually use them for like kitchen towels or like hand towels like around the house and stuff. But yeah, I don't throw it away. <laughs> I know. You're like, what the heck are you going to do with this? But I don't throw them away. I just cut them up. I make like little slits here and there, like make them little squares or rectangles or whatever. And I use them either to like wash my face or, or clean my hands and stuff like that. But yeah, we're all about reducing, re reusing and recycling up in here. <laughs> So what I did, I got these at Walmart and then I got these little whiteboards last year from the dollar spot at Target and I just put like our names on it, Frank, Michelle, and Sophia. So whenever we have like, you know, whenever it's whenever it's full, whoever's name is like full, they have to go put it away, you know? So like Frank, Frank has to put his shit away, but <laughs> he's not here right now. And because I need to finish the video, I'm gonna put it away. But um, usually, like, usually all his clothes right here is just work clothes, so it goes in one closet. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put it away for him right now and then I'm gonna put my stuff away So if he doesn't really have anything, but I'm gonna put all this away as well And then I'm gonna put all that away so we could like have nothing there just the hangers and um, Here I usually put my um, My toallas up here, but I'm gonna like have to, I have to like dust it off and everything and I have to refill all this stuff But right here is on the van las, to las toallitas blancas these ones So I'm just gonna you know put them in there, but first I need to I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away first. This is a little basket I had right there in my, um, right here on my little bookshelf. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the, all the little towels back in there and then I put the Clorox in here. When I have like extra OxyClean, I put it in here as well. I had my um, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers in here, but I'm actually, I'm looking for like a little um, jar where I could put all the Mr. Clean stuff because this whole box is just not it. But um, that's what I'm gonna do.
I'm trying to ask my this one. And I'm going to be using this one. So, this is how it looks. Check this out. You're in. So out of that, I'm going to take off everything from here. This shelf is from Ikea. It's the Billy bookcase. And it was like $30 maybe. But it's literally the cutest thing ever. Um, I'm actually going to put these things on me in. These things right here. Also in the little bin. Two wall decals I actually got at the Dollar Tree. Um, they were a dollar each. It's a, a little thing of 12 inches. 12 by 12 I guess. And um, I use them for the wall. I will say, since it's hot in here, it has been like, the plastic did get warped a little bit, but it's not too, too bad. The cleaner that I use for the laundry room, it smells like lavender, it smells delicious. It's the Mrs. Mayer's Clean Day Lavender Multiple Surface Cleaner, and that's what I use for everything in the laundry room because of the scent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just spray this all over. The cool thing about this, you're looking into getting this bookshelf. The cool thing about it is, is you just need a little bit of, you know, a little damp rag and it cleans perfectly. You know? Like you can even take it out, clean it, clean the back. Just like. Went ahead and filled up the dog's food containers took everything out everything on the floor just try to make the biggest space i swept i vacuumed i also mopped the thing is that there's so much dirt in here because my husband does work outside so whatever he brings in on, in on his jeans and boots gets all over the place I went ahead and put in my botes here. This is for like the dirty clothes and how I sort them and stuff. I have white, black, and colors. So I just bring in like the laundry hampers from the room and I just sort them out, take the laundry hampers back, and once they're full, then I wash them. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this Mayer's multi surface cleaner and I'm just gonna clean the. Le voy a dar una limpiadita a mis. a mi washer and dryer. And this is all I put, you know because this this is a very sensitive like unit this whole thing is like a little computer so i can't really get it wet or whatever because then it gets messed up fill these up i'm gonna wash this one just because the downy has been here for a while and then as you can see like it gets like a little the spout gets clogged a little bit so i gotta wash it everything literally just goes into their own little container and that's how i have like a control of it and that's how i could see like how much stuff i have left instead of having like the big the big containers all bulky and stuff i just put them like in these little containers these I got at Walmart. I think they were 10 to $15. This one I also got at Walmart. It's a little cookie jar and I got this one for like, I think $6. And then I got some from Amazon that just came in today. I got this set of three jars, three different size jars from Amazon. They came in today. I ordered them, I think yesterday. So it was pretty fast shipping. They come with um, chalk and like these little things. So I just went ahead and wrote beads because I'm going to put the downy beads in them and I'm going to put soap. My husband's work clothes, I actually used the Kirkland the Kirkland brand soap from Costco and that I've noticed that it does very very well with his clothes for his work clothes for us like for all the other clothes I use gain so I have it you know in liquid form that's, that's the way that I like it but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill everything up I so much softener soap all that stuff because I wasn't able to like really see inside the bottles so when I started getting these like containers, you know, it made it so that I could check, oh wow, you know, I'm running low on softener. Now I could really go buy out and buy some, you know what I mean? So this has actually saved us a lot of money because as I said before, since everything was so bulky, I didn't know, you know, if I had enough or if I had too little, you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely if, you're, if you want to spruce up your laundry room or something or even budget, Clear containers are the way to go. You know, I had to use the pink stuff on this door. Look at that. Beautiful. Are you ready to see my masterpiece? <laughs> it looks like a whole new laundry room, doesn't it? Just a little bit of cleaning. It took about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. But I absolutely love it. It is so pretty. I love my little house. I mean, I've, I told you guys before, this is our first house. And obviously, I want to, you know, take care of it and make sure... My family loves it as well and that's why even my little one could help me you know she gets the softener she gets the soap and she just 
she helps me out and stuff so yeah and there you have it you guys what do you guys think about this like little you know organizing tips and like the before and after hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up that would help me out a lot so don't forget to follow me over on instagram facebook snapchat twitter tiktok and of course here if you're not subscribed already thank you to all who participated in that in that little giveaway that we had <laughs> But we do have a winner. The number of times the word honestly was said was actually 13 times. And one of you guys actually got it right. And her name is Priscilla. You're Priscilla. Can you please send me a message over on Instagram? You have 24 hours to claim your price. Thank you to everybody who participated. I thank you guys so much for being here today. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.